Alrighty then. Hi everyone, my name is Margarita and this is my wonderful daughter, Angelica. Hello. And we are going to be unboxing the Unplugged book box for YA uh, for the month of June. Um, this is definitely one of the boxes that I've grown to love. Um, it focuses on self-care items that are bookish, um, that either are targeted towards certain fandoms that are favorites of some people or even just bookish in general, which I do like because they're useful and not a specific fandom sometimes. Um, so they do both adult and YA um, books in their boxes. Um, the owner, Melanie, she's really, really sweet. Um, she usually puts like a cute letter in there. Um, she keeps a really active Instagram and does a lot of great contests allowing um, the subscribers to participate and maybe even chime in on things that can go in the boxes. Um, but anyways, I will stop chatting um, and go ahead and get started. So I did purchase this box with my own money. So all of the opinions, of course, are my own. Um, here is the sneak peek to the box here. Um, so it looks like the, the theme is Unity, perfect for Pride Month there and everything that's kind of going on right now um, with, you know, the Black Lives Matter and everything else going on. Um, definitely everyone should have a voice. Everyone should have, you know, basic civil rights. So I definitely feel like everything going on, um, you know, it's definitely the time. I mean, it, it's taken a long time for people to address it. Um, I mean, if you think about it, it's still rather new. I mean, it wasn't too long ago that, you know, we had Rosa Parks and Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, you know, doing different things in the world to bring attention to what was, you know, going on in the world. Um, so I really think it's great that we have, you know, stuff to represent that in here. Um, and then of course, the LGBTQ LGBTQ plus. plus. Yes. <laughs> I always forget. Um, it comes out of my mouth every five seconds. Which is hilarious <laughs> being that I'm bi and she's pan. And I just, I forget. I, I'm so old school if you can't tell. <laughs> but I mean, I truly, truly believe everyone should have equal rights. Um, you know, I I think, you know, everybody is special regardless of their color or sexuality or sexuality. I Did I just say that? Yes, gender identity. <laughs> gender identity. I am so sorry. I have really bad memory issues and I forget what I'm talking about sometimes. So, yeah. <laughs> we'll go ahead and stop chatting and get on with the boxings. Unboxing. We're not boxing things here. We're unboxing. All right. Well, I think I might have gotten some stuff on it. So here is the first thing that we have. I don't know if you can see it, but it's super cute. And it says, you were the sun and I was crashing into you. And it is a Rainbow Rowell quote, I believe from Carry On. I'll go over it at the end, but it is so cute and it is so soft. I love it. All right. That was just the next thing the box said. Nope. Leave a little letter. Um, I think this is the Office. signed author plate, which is the signed book plate, sorry, by the author. And it says, your voice is power. All right. And then there's the photo challenge card. I might have to argue with you on this box. Uh, so we have a candle. And this is Vice and Virtue. Um, it has black cherry, currant, absinthe, citrus, and amber rain 
pence to it. And this is an unplugged book box exclusive by Until the Very End Co. Ooh, wow. This is gorgeous. It's got a wood wick and it's white with like blue kind of tie-dye splotches. Definitely powerful. I can smell it over here. Ooh, kinda. that smells so good. I like it. It's kind of strong, so I don't know if I would light it with my asthma, but it smells really good. I don't know. I'd be surprised. Some of their candles that I think are going to be too strong for my asthma when I, we light them or if they have, we have them open, it doesn't bother me as much, which I really like because like some of the candles that we get in other boxes, I'll be like, oh, it's okay. It smells good. And then we light them and my asthma starts acting up and we haven't really been able to use the cameras. I mean, not the cameras, the candles. <laughs> I don't know if I can smell like the citrus, but you could definitely smell the amber. I can smell the citrus when it's like away. It's very gorgeous, lush smelling. And it's going... Away. And it's so pretty. I can't reach all the way, but that's going to go in the number three spot. The number three. She is ranking my candles. She goes, oh, you got another candle. And she's like, I have to smell it and rank it. And she puts them in the order that she likes the smell of. And I'm just like... She goes, are you going to start lighting your candles soon? And I'm like, no, because I want it to last forever. I like to smell them. I like to take pictures of them. But um, she said she may light one and put the lid back on so I will never notice. Oh, you'll notice. <laughs> the next thing we have here, it looks like maybe it's a lotion. It's a body scrub. A whipped body scrub, I think. Or a body um, It says Zephyra. Ooh, is that... Is that the dragon from that that movie? It's a uh, four ounces of whipped body scrub by the oh, Bubble sorry. Princess, an unplugged book box. It says sweet orange, and then I can't read that. I think it's chili peppers and shadows. I'm not smelling it. I want to smell it. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> That, that was, I think Whoa, it's, it's super full. I okay. think it's because it's hot. It's probably expanding because it's whipped. Holy moly. Okay. Oh, my God. I want Oh, my God. No, Mom. I want this. I want to no, smell No, you can't it. have it. It smells so good. No, I want to smell it. Holy smoke. You know what it smells like? Tang. <laughs> it smells so good. That does not intrigue me. It smells so good. It smells so orangey. It, it reminds me of the creamsicles that we used to see when we were in, like, Texas. You know I, when I'm talking about the creamsicles Kim used to take bring over? It or Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I think it's just expanding because of the heat. Because it's, like, 90 degrees in our house right now. Ooh, it's got, like, a nice grit fill to it's it. It's shiny? I don't know if it's because it's, it's not got, like, like, it feels like sugar in it. I don't know. Well, it's a body scrub. Just wipe it on me. I just took a shower. Wipe it on you? <laughs> oh my gosh okay this smells so good I don't know if anyone ever used to watch Emerald Lagasse but like if if you know what I'm talking about the smell of vision yes oh my gosh this smells so good that wasn't a good idea I'm gonna have to go wash your car <laughs> Oh my god, okay. It's kind of sticky, which is ah. why it's probably shower. Well, like it's it. a sugar scrub. We'll find out if I'm allergic to it in a minute. <laughs> you're not allergic to it. I'm you not. think you're allergic to everything. I just said we'll find All right. Out. And then this is a cute little pouch. And it says, Tub Tonics and Unplugged Book Box. So this is a million flora bath bomb. Ooh. Yum. I don't know if I'll be able to smell it though, because it's in this plastic. Ooh. What so is this is the no bath bomb. I like how it's sparkly and it has like the gold and are these like Yeah, it's got mica in it and Oh, I can smell it. It's got an essential oil blend, it but it doesn't like... say what the notes are, so maybe it'll say it in the 
the spoiler card. We'll it definitely kinda, check it out. It reminds me of that bath bomb that we had uh, from the old. Here, you want to put the plastic over there? Because he's already eyeballing it. it. Trying to figure it out. Ooh, we got a new water bottle, which could definitely come in handy here. And I like that it's got the little carabiner in it. So it says, you are strong, fierce, capable beyond measure. Did you read the top part of this? That is so pretty. What do you mean? Oh, I was saying, cause, yeah. oh, the part about Scotland. <laughs> it says, you used to recover from Charlie in Scotland with these princesses. Oh, no, I didn't read that. <laughs> okay. And then we got one more thing here. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's got little gold moons all over it. <laughs> my cat wants to check it out. He sees sparkles. That's what he sees. Oh, well, I can't <laughs> tell if he sees them. Cat. All right. So this is a lip balm. I did from and it balm. is Leah Cherry Coke Lip Balm. And so this is by Angela Taylor Crafts. Hide it from Leilani. It will be added to her collection promptly. Yes, my daughter collects chapsticks. My younger daughter. Um, her sister. <laughs> um, we have bags of it. I think she's Bags like of chapstick. 500. She's a chapstick hoarder. <laughs> I, can't, I can't open it. But... It's absolutely cute. I'm gonna go ahead ooh, and put that over there. Um, so we got one last thing here before the book. It is the letter from Melanie and the sneak peek for July. Um, so that is doubt. And then we have the book all gorgeously wrapped here. Ooh. Oh my goodness, yes! Everybody has been talking about this book. I cannot wait to read it. It is A Song Below Water by Bethany C. Morrow. This is something magical. What? Yes. Ooh. So, I will read the blurb on the back here, on the inside, of course. Um, and then, like I said, we did get the sign book plate from the author. The outside of the book is this gorgeous yellow with this really pretty blue spine. I love the colors in this book. It's like yellow and blue. Ooh, and she's opened my chapstick. And it's a natural one. Ooh, it smells pretty good. Cherry Coke. Which it really does smell like cherry coke. So yum. Okay. It reminds me of like the ices. I dropped the little bag down there. So the synopsis, I'm just gonna read real quick, and of course I will put the times in the details below if you don't want to listen. So it says the song below water is the story for today's readers, a captivating modern fantasy about black mermaids fan friendship and self-discovery set against the challenges of today's racism and sexism. In a society determined to keep her under lock and key, Tavia must hide her siren powers. Meanwhile, Effie is fighting her own family struggles as she is pitted against literal demons from her past. Together, these best friends must navigate the perils of high school's junior year. But everything changes in the aftermath of siren murder trial that rocks the nation. When Tavia accidentally lets out her magical voice at the worst possible moment, soon nothing in Portland, Oregon seems safe. To save themselves from drowning, Tavia and Effie's unbreakable sisterhood must prove to be the strongest magic of all. Does sound like it's going to be a fantastic book. It is absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to read it. Take your book to Scrambox so I can read this one and the other one. <laughs> so... It doesn't look very long, so it looks like maybe I'll be able to read it in a day or two, which is great. I'm going to do it today, so... Mm, I don't know about that. I know, you're going to give me chores and then hide it. Yep, it's mine. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I'm not putting this one back in there. Okay, so, of all the books, I mean, 
items in the book box. I would have to say my favorite has got to be that body scrub because it smells divine. I don't have a least favorite item. Honestly, I like everything. Um, I uh, like to use chopstick. I love bath bombs. Chopstick, not chopstick. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing that I did not like. This was a strong box all the way down to the book. Absolutely, hands down, Melanie Unplugged Book Box. You are fantastic. Thank you for bringing this to us. It was definitely something that we needed. Oh, I love it. I feel like this is probably going to be my least favorite item. Not because anything against you guys. It's just I don't like aluminum bottles for some reason. Like, not aluminum, but like the... I don't like these bottles for like some reason. Well, it's a good thing it's mine then. <laughs> not yours. Yes! Finally, something she won't take from me. <laughs> I, you can have all the other ones I have in the cabinet. I get these <laughs> all the time. So, the spoiler card, just to go over all the vendors and everything. So, we did get the Wrath of Dawn water bottle. Um, and the art on that was by the fantastic Azura from Azura Arts. Um, we Hunt the Flame Whipped Body Scrub. Ah, it was We Hunt the Flame. Um, and so Zephira goes on a magical quest in that one. I haven't read it yet. I think. Do I have it? Was it in a different book box? You Maybe might... I don't have it. Uh, I might need to get it. <laughs> oh no, we have to visit the bookstore again. Uh oh. This weekend too. <laughs> yeah. I might um, have to go get the other books I <laughs> forgot to get last week. So, We Hunt the Flame with Body Scrub was by Bubble Princess. That was an Etsy shop. Um, Leah and the Offbeat Lip Balm was by Angela Taylor Crafts, another Etsy shop. Uh, we have the Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue Candle. Um, and that was by Until the End, or Until the Very End Co. Um, and then we have Her Royal Highness Bath Balm. And so that was by Tub Tonics. Oh, it did say something about Scotland. It says Her Royal Highness follows Millie to Scotland. She plans to study geology. But when Princess Flora rocks her world, things get a little messy. Yeah, that's what it's talking about recovering. <laughs> And then there was the carry-on microfiber towel, and that was an unplugged exclusive. That's going to be the series I buy when we go this weekend. Alrighty. So, if you care to take a gander at our other videos, please subscribe, tap the bell, of course, and then there will be some fantastic videos. Just kidding. I don't know. They are very mediocre. I'm still learning. <laughs> she tells me, she goes, mom, your videos are kind of boring. I don't so. watch them. I encourage them. <laughs> she doesn't watch my channel. One day, one day, hopefully we will grow this channel to be fun. Um, but anyways, thanks again for tuning in and checking out my unplugged book box for the month of June. And you all have a wonderful day. Bye.